Hello and welcome to Wondershare Repair It. Now, if you're here because Microsoft Word won't open up on your MacBook, you click the right video. This is one of the most popular companies among Mac users. And in today's video, I'll guide you through practical solutions to troubleshoot and fix the problem so that you can get back to using Word without affecting your workflow. But before we get into the details of that, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment if you have a question, and subscribe for more tech solutions. Now, let's get started and get Microsoft Word working again on your Mac. Part one, how to fix Microsoft Word not opening on Mac. Now, let's quickly look at five proven methods to fix Microsoft Word not opening on your Mac. Now, I've personally tried these methods and they are simple and easy to execute. Method one, remove word preferences. One thing I love about this method is how quick and effective it is at resolving random errors caused by preferences or configuration issues. Here's what I normally do. Step one, open Finder and go to the Go menu. Select Go to Folder, type Library and hit Go. Step two, once inside the Library folder, locate and open the Preferences folder. Step three, search for a file named com.microsoft.word.plist. Now drag this file to your desktop. Step four, try opening Microsoft Word again. If it works, the issue is fixed. If not, move the file back to its original location and continue with the next steps. Step five, exit all Microsoft programs on your Mac. Then click on the Word option in the Apple menu and choose Preferences. Step six, select file locations, then click user templates. Step seven, look for a file named normal and move it to the desktop. The great thing about this method is that it resolves most configuration related errors. This way, it allows the Word to work without issues. But in case it doesn't fix the issue, no worries. You can try out the next solution. Method two, run disk utility to repair Word. Now, I recommend this method for cases where you think the issue might be caused by a potential disk error that could be affecting Microsoft Word. Now, I now show you the steps that you can use to fix the problem using Run Disk Utility. Step one, go to the Go menu on your Mac and select Utilities. Step two, open Disk Utility and choose the primary hard drive of your Mac. Step three, click the First Aid tab, then hit Run when prompted to start the repair process. Step four, Disk Utility will check for and fix any disk volume errors or permission issues. Once the process finishes, click Done and try opening Word again. This method often resolves deeper issues caused by file corruption or disk errors. But if after doing that, the Word still won't open, the issue might be related to system performance. Then you might want to free up RAM on your Mac. Method three, free RAM on Mac. If your Mac is running low on RAM, especially on eight gigabyte RAM systems, Word might not open properly. Here's how I usually free up memory. Step one, open Activity Monitor by searching for it in Spotlight or the Applications folder. Step two, click the Memory tab to check the current RAM usage. Step three, if memory usage is above 80%, Close irrelevant programs and background processes to free up space. Now, clearing RAM ensures that your system has enough resources to open Word smoothly. This quick fix works wonders, especially when multitasking with other applications. Method four, open and repair Microsoft Word. One method I find particularly useful is using Microsoft Word's built-in repair feature. It's an easy way to fix damaged Word files without needing extra tools. So let me quickly show you what I normally do. Step one, start Microsoft Word on your Mac. Step two, click on the file menu and choose open to bring up the dialog box for file selection. Step three, find the Word file that isn't opening. Now, while selecting it, look at the bottom right corner of the dialog box and choose repair from the drop-down menu. Step four, click OK to start the repair process. 
the utility will automatically fix the damaged file. And once completed, you should be able to open and use it without any issues. Now, this method is great because it's quick and uses Word's own tools to address the problem. Now, if Word still isn't responding, the issue might be related to accumulated cache files on your Mac. So let's look at how to clear them up. Method five, clear cache on Mac. Now, clearing your Mac's cache is another effective way to fix Microsoft Word not opening. And when too many cache files build up, they can interfere with program functionality. To fix it, you should. Step one, open Finder, then click on Go in the menu bar and select Go to folder. Step two, in the text field, type library, caches, and click Go. Step three, this will open the cache folder. Look through the files and select the ones that you want to delete. Now, clearing these cache files frees up system resources and can resolve issues with programs like Microsoft Word, even if your Word is working fine. Now, I always recommend doing this periodically to keep your Mac running smoothly. Now, with these five methods, you now have a complete toolkit to fix Microsoft Word not opening on your Mac. But sometimes, even after fixing your laptop's Microsoft Word and it's working perfectly, you might notice that some of your documents are missing or damaged. I know how annoying this could be, especially if you're preparing for an important presentation and you depend on it. Part two, how to recover not opening Word files on Mac. Now, if your Word files won't open, there's a solution. I personally trust Wondershare Recovery. It's one of the most reliable tools out there for recovering lost, deleted, or corrupted files. Now, what I love about it is how simple it is to use. Even if you're not particularly tech savvy, plus it's designed with security in mind so that you can feel confident that your data is safe. Let me walk you through how to use it. Step one, download and install Recovery. Go to the official Wondershare Recover It website and download the Mac version of the app. The installation process is quick and straightforward. Just follow the prompts on your screen. Step two, launch Recover It. Now, once installed, open the app and you'll immediately notice how clean and intuitive the interface is, making it easy to find exactly what you need. Step three, select the Mac data option. Now, from the main screen, select the Mac data option under hard disk drivers. This tells the app which part of your Mac to scan for recoverable files. Step four, start scanning your drive. Click the start button and recover it will begin scanning the selected drive for files that can be recovered, including your Word documents. Step five, preview and recover files. Now, once the scan finishes, you'll see a list of recoverable files. Preview your Word documents to confirm they're the right ones. Then click Recover to save them to the safe location on your Mac. Now, this tool is incredibly effective and it's saved me more times than I can count. Now, give it a try because I'm confident it will do the same for you. And again, thank you for watching this Wondershare Repair It video. I hope these steps have helped you fix Microsoft Word not opening on your Mac. And if you found this guide useful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts or questions in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. See you next time.